Hourglass has been around for 11 years now. We're the number one antenna and antenna services company in the M2M space. And one of the top verticals in the M2M space is transportation. Our new storm antenna that we have coming out, typically when you see a police car and things of that nature, you see all kinds of antennas coming off the roof. You see multiple antennas there, four or five or six of them. With our new storm antenna that we actually have here, we made it very, very low profile. So when it goes on a police car, you really can't see it. Inside this one single ray dome is five antennas. So there's two LTEs for video. There's a GPS and it does GPS and it does GLONASS and it does Baidu. And it also has MIMO Wi-Fi in there as well for an access point capability around the vehicle or if some police officer wanted to somehow Bluetooth connect back up to the vehicle itself. It's been fantastic. Uh, we have our own Pantheon, which is a five-in-one, which is a bigger dome. It always sold very, very well for us in the marketplace. We listened to our customers who said, hey, if you really want to get in the public safety sector, you need something more low profile. So you're seeing these now on all kinds of police vehicles. You're seeing these on digital signage on the side of the road when you drive through a construction zone and they have the uh, signs and everything else like that. They uh, connect into that with cellular. So this is nice and low profile and goes on there. So it's really been very successful. We also have an adhesive mount uh, version of this as well. This obviously goes as a screw and it goes on the vehicle, on top of the vehicle or on some kind of metal plate or on some kind of uh, plastic surface. For those people who don't want to punch a hole in the roof of the vehicle and what they want to do is just take this antenna, the same exact thing, it's got 3M tape and you can stick it to anything plastic inside of a car. So you can put it on the dashboard, you could put it on the rear deck or the rear dashboard, you could put it on the back of the seat, you could put it on the visor or up on the windshield. So it's the same type of a thing. So your installation charges are cut in half by using this and the cost of this antenna is a lot less than this because this one right here doesn't have to have the IP67 to go outside and all the waterproofing and everything else. The, the real differentiator with the Storm is A, you have five connections in here. It actually holds a six connection for DSRC, which is the connected vehicle. And the real killer for this is it's so low profile. All the competition out there will at least be uh, three times as high. We're going to come out with a version that has Iridium as well, besides the LTE, the GPS, and the Wi-Fi. We also have the connected car version. Um, and then we also have uh, a version for public safety that's coming out as well. So it's, it's the six connection in here that really allows us for future products down the road. It also allows us to put another LTE connection in if we want to. A lot of people want two for MIMO, but then occasionally they want another connection as well and we can always put an extra connection in there. The Iridium one as well is going to be released. We just, I think it's going to be in the fourth quarter we're releasing that. And then we're going to try to get a version of this storm with the three LTEs in it sometime in the first quarter of next year.